Hi everyone, this is Kevin Haywood, uh, the professional at Kings Norton Golf Club here. Uh, hoping that you and your families are all keeping well in these very strange times. Um, obviously a lot of us are spending a lot of time at home. Perhaps we can get out in the garden and have a little bit of a swing, have a little bit of a practice. Um, I'm thinking of trying to do a few sort of uh, videos for you to try and help you when we get a chance to get back out on that golf course again. Um, what I want to try and get you to do today is to have a better setup routine. I feel this plays a massive part in how we swing the golf club and how we play the game. If we set up, if we have a good setup routine, uh, it makes life a lot easier for us. Um, so, what I want to try and get you to do is first of all have this routine. Uh, have the right sequence of this routine and then it will really stop us from um, aiming our body wrong, aiming our club wrong uh, and help us a lot. So the first thing in this game of golf is to aim this golf club. Aim this bottom most edge of this golf club. What we want to do is to aim it at a right angle to the target. So what we would always do is you place your golf bag over here perhaps on the right of where you're going to hit the golf ball you would always have a little walk behind the golf ball and look to see where you want to hit it. So we want to hit the ball at my, my target down there, my little pink, pink uh, stick with the white flag. And we're going to then walk to, uh, sorry, get ourselves an imaginary line back from that target to our golf ball um, and pick out what we call our intermediate target, something just in front of the golf ball that's along our target line. We would then walk towards the golf ball and place the club face directly behind the back of the ball with that bottom most edge at a right angle to the target. We would always do this with our feet together. So looking from front on, I would place the club down behind the back of the ball and draw a line through the bottom of the sole of the club face and let that go through the middle of the feet. And what this does, it gets the body square onto the golf ball. If we, um, if we have the feet off to the left, then as you can see now, I would tend to be very close or aiming the body to the right, or vice versa, if I had my feet to the right to start with, and then place them apart, my body's in a very open position, both feet, uh, hips and shoulders aiming to the left. But by placing the club behind the back of the ball, with the, with the feet opposite the ball by drawing a line through the bottom of the blade of the club, it gets me square onto the golf ball. The next thing is obviously making sure that I grip the club. I'm doing this still with my feet together. And what this does, it gets you to stand the right distance away from the golf ball. If I show you from this, this direction, so if I place the club face down behind the back of the ball, feet together, grip the club, and now place my feet apart, i now stood the right distance away. I see this quite often, and how crazy is this? People going, oh yes, I've got my feet square with where I'm going, yes, I'm doing everything right. Doesn't matter where the ball is, too far away, or vice versa, even too close. Yeah. Whereas every club in the bag is a different length, and we can use that length to, to guide us how far to stand away from the ball. By placing the club back behind the back of the ball, with our feet together, take our grip, and then place our feet. If we do it in that order, we'll always stand the right distance away. So, if we can go through that little routine of aim the club, Place it behind the back of the ball with our feet together. Grip the club and then place our feet apart. That is a much squarer way of doing it. When we place our feet apart, for a medium iron, we really want to go kind of about one club head width or one footprint uh, to the left with our left foot and then maybe two uh, footprints with our right and that gets the ball in the right spot and also we can see that if we draw a line through the bottom of the blade of the club we can see where the ball is being positioned and you can see how nice and squarely I am 
to that golf ball. So that's the routine that we wanted to get to get you to do. So always aim the club first with your feet together. Grip the club second. And thirdly, always then place your feet apart. I hope that's uh, of some help to you. Uh, probably a little bit of practice in the garden at that routine will help a lot. Thanks very much. And stay safe.